And urine arson news. What I they peed and urine. set it on fire? I arson. said it right. You urine arson. Pee? Wow. Depends on what you. It's drink. like a flamethrower through the dick. You drink 151, oh, and then yeah. he's, you know. Oh, that is <laughs> burning dick. So let's get into this. Submitted by Patriot Mark, not Patriot. They wrote it with an extra R. Yes. Hmm. Huh? Patriot. <laughs> A 12-year-old boy urinated on an electrical outlet ha! in an attempt to set the school on fire. Oh what? my god. That sounds like something that's you guys would do, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, but you know what? I'd be afraid of peeing on that, on and then it gets, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like that in the Amazon River, if you pee, there's like some uh, fish that is spiky, and it, it swims up your pee stream into your dick, and then it spikes out. Like, oh shit. Boy. Yeah, don't pee in the Amazon River if you go swim. I've never done that. Yeah, there's a there's a fish, a little oh, tiny shit. fish. Oh yeah, I've heard it of that. It up your urethra, like it follows your pee stream oh. into your urethra and then it spikes out. It must be really strong for it to like swim against current into your yeah. urethra. Yeah. Especially the way I pee. Well, it goes through your pee I'll stream. pee hard, dude. <laughs> what I like is that... Stacy just met Joe today, and she yeah. already knows. Like she'd like read him like a book. She's like, "This is some shit these two would do." No, we're not dumb. I'm not gonna pee on an owl and expect to catch on fire. <laughs> You're gonna if I put gasoline, yeah. yeah. I would yeah, pee on an outlet for fun. Yeah. For yeah. fun. Well, That's what this guy was doing. But not to burn the school down. I'm You're pretty sure like he wasn't. Three times his age at this point. No, but he doesn't know basic <laughs> chemistry that pee's gonna put a fire. He's out. twelve. I'm talking about when I was twelve. An electrical fire? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, okay, you were smart. I was a way better criminal than this guy. Well, I mean, what grade is 12? Like six, seven? Six, six grade, oh, yeah. seven. That guy's stupid. Yeah, he's stupid. <laughs> I passed Can my we go back to the day. past and see all the stupid shit you guys I did? I wish we could. You could cut, cut to you. I uh, wish we could. My inventions actually worked. You guys are probably all skinny and like- you know, I was super yeah. skinny. Peeing on outlets to set this on fire. Oh, I know a sixth grade crime that I did. So like uh, when when you used to be uh, late, you have to fill out these tardy slips, right? And it's the same material as report card. Cause you know like the report card carbon copy, at least the one from my school, it's gray on the back instead of black. Yeah, yeah. And so when I got my report card, I was like, oh fuck, there's a lot of Fs on this motherfucker. And I'm like, how can I change it? And I'm like, oh yeah, the tardy slip is the exact same material. So I go to the That's front of the office, take it, put it over my report card and just make all the Fs and turn them into A's. Wow. So like, that's me at 12. And I'm like, that's this was peeing on an outlet, it was dumb, dude. That is pretty dumb. All right, you put it into perspective. Yeah. I'm convinced. We learned how to make bombs out of uh, fireworks. Like we would rip it apart and put it back together with Snapple bottles and like regular bottles plastic bottles and then like we would have them all ready with a wick like out like this and then we had the bright idea to jump into the school and then just start lighting them off and then we saw one locker that was open and then we lit one and closed the thing <laughs> Fucking blew the locker. Oh my god. Wow. Yeah. I thought I, I was badass just for doing a piccolo Pete in at the school. I was like, ah, ah it's nighttime at the school. That's actually what we used with a uh, piccolo <laughs> Pete. Which one's that one? It's the one that it goes. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, so like, bad. This takes place in Indiana. This 12-year-old kid. They're saying that he urinated on this electrical outlet. And he did either start a small fire or enough smoke though because it did set off the alarm. Not so dumb. And then, uh, <laughs> so someone immediately heard the alarm and rushed to the restroom, because it was in the restroom, and with the fire extinguisher and put out this like small fire. And Why would you need an electrical outlet in a school bathroom? I don't know, in the boys bathroom, who knows? Charge your phone, it's 2018. Oh damn! Go with the time. Like a blow dryer outlet by the, the sink boys, or something. I know. Crazy, like a yeah. razor. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah. So then they're saying that the boy was arrested and accused of criminal recklessness. Damn. But it's oh, that's too much. Yeah, it is. It's interesting. Though. He could kill people. It's a fire. That's true. Did he go to jail or just gets expelled or like? He was probably arrested. Shitting his pants. He was taken to juvie to the juvie Ooh. probation intake offices. Yeah. He's never and so the, the fire investigator was saying that it would not be possible for the boy to shock himself while he was urinating because if he was standing upright, but then it's also not likely that the urine hitting from that angle would have soaked into the outlet to create enough heat to cause a fire. So the case remains under investigation. 
That's how they're reporting this. <laughs> so they're saying the way he's peeing, the electricity can't go up and zap him that way? Yeah. Oh, because he got oh. zapped? No, no, no. It's, that's the number one question everyone has. Like, oh, like, why he have, didn't he Would he have, have gotten zapped? went in there that soaked it up. Yeah. Fucking... I guess I'm glad I never had a dick, because I would do some weird experiments. Like, what else would you do? I don't know, I'd probably pee on a bunch of shit. Like, I'd probably put it in a bunch of places. For sure, that's a necessary step. <laughs> what is the first thing you do if you had a dick for a day? I'd probably, jack I'd jack and off I want to know what that feels it's like. It's amazing. And then I'd fuck <laughs> what that feels like. Well, well you know what? not like this. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what that feels oh, like. I thought, I, you said, I thought you said I already know what that no, feels I like. Said, I was like, why do I know what I that feels like? I want to know what oh, that feels like. It's gonna take more than a day though. You gotta warm up to it because Checking like, off? yeah, I, like as a boy, like you, too. Uh, it's it's really sensitive, and then like you gotta kind of like warm up to it. Warm up to what your dick? Yeah, or it, your I dick. Mean, has when I whenever yeah, I jack him off, I don't have to dick. warm up. I could do my own. No, you're doing that's your because, stretches. That's because <laughs> all the boys played with their dick enough to where it was ready for a girl. Uh, yeah. yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> a used dick. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, you, you gotta have a used dick. Whoa. You want a used dick. Yeah, yeah, I want his want dick. I'll take his dick. I wanna yeah. go into someone's body that has a dick already. Yeah, to be yeah. Using and they it. primed it up yeah, for yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, I want my own yeah. dick. Well, yeah, but it's like no, a used dick. they're one. saying it's too I want new. It's you have too to warm new. It up. Like it's I'll get a used super dick. sensitive. Yeah. I'll get like yeah, yeah. like a used it's dick. It's not even ready to bust dick. nuts yet. Like a dead person's dick, I'll take that. No, 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 that's too far, that's too used. A young dead person, right? You can have like a 24 year old, good looking, Yes. He like just goes all the way. Dick. I don't think dicks look good looking at all. So just all dicks were created. But equal. a dead dick is gonna look different than a live. It's gonna dick. be alive because it's on my alive body. Well, then it's not a dead dick. Well, I'm saying from a dead person. But it already died. Donation. Died. This don't happened. Be so logical. Mm -hmm. It's in a fantasy world. No, this actually happens. People she donate not dicks. a dead dick. <laughs> People get dead dicks. So, and it's different. It's different than an erection. Can't get along after a certain amount of time. They just no. She's just trying to ruin my fun. I am. I'm not gonna hang out with people with dead dicks. I'm gonna fuck you first, then. No, I'll make you fall in love with me. I have a dick too. How are you gonna fuck me? Oh, you'll see. The jurors grow on a pig. I don't have a dead dick. I dreamt that I had a dick before, which is really too. Was it? What did you do with it? So, I just remember dreaming that I was in a restroom and like. I was gonna pee, but then all of a sudden I had a dick, and I was like yeah. touching it, and it was like flaccid That's what it would be and shit. Like. And I was just like, "Whoa, this is weird." But I couldn't like feel it though. Did you, uh, the bed? Did you wake up with a wet spot? Yeah, I didn't pee. Imagine Casey woke up with the pee with the, with the pee bed. <laughs> <laughs> so Casey was peeing in bed. Yeah, yeah. Oh, That's gross. crazy. Yeah, so that was really weird. And then I was weird feeling it between my legs too. I was like, Whoa. "Does that feel weird?" They don't know. No. They've always had it their whole yeah, life. Yeah, I think you, you, just, <laughs> like, you don't know that your balls are there. It's just there though. You just. Because I'm so fascinated. Even now, when I'll see him like like naked or whatever, I'm just like, damn, that's wild. Like, there's this shit just dangling in between. <laughs> 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 it gets uncomfortable when it's hot and like the Ew, ball sticks to your legs. Wild. Yeah, you gotta adjust it. You're like. Mm. I had a manager that would do that. Like we would have morning huddles, right? And we would all stand up, and then he'd be like this, and he'd go. <laughs> I'm like, ew! And then he's like. Oh, I've seen a lot of guys do that. Oh, you didn't know what he was doing before? No, I knew what he was doing. <laughs> I didn't know. Now you just blew yeah, my mind. I didn't know either. Now I'm oh flashing back. I'm like, Dude, oh, shit. Like, just kind of like shifting for some reason. And you're like, I don't know why he shifts. Yeah. Oh, like I've seen that so he's many times. So I love His balls are stuck to the I, side of his legs. Yeah, he's, Sorry. Yeah, he's peeling it. He's peeling it. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, yeah. You guys don't think of wearing like tight spandex so they just yeah. like stay up? If you wear tidy whities, it, it actually it even worse. Or those boxer briefs. If it separates it, but then also yeah. you all, your nuts feel all like <laughs> hugged up. Though. We're nuts. We're hugged up. <laughs> <laughs> like, <they're> all <laughs> snugly and yeah. shit. They're all in fetal positions. <laughs> they are weird. That's fucking crazy. Kind of yeah. I prefer a dick than a vagina like, though. Having shit in their chest either. Dude, I was oh, yeah, they true. do a little bit though. Little bit. Why not? No, like you guys do. Because no, then you guys great. you guys say if you guys get punched oh, there, it hurts, right? Like if we got punched, I'm like, it's it's just like getting punched in the arm. No, yeah. I fucking yeah. love boobs. Boobs are great. Yeah. I'd rather have boobs any day. Sometimes I just play with them. Like, yeah, they're nice. <laughs> I don't nice. realize I'm playing with them. I'm just like mm. <laughs> They're easier to get to than down here. For sure. I fucking yeah. love boobs. Boobs are great. True, true, true. But yeah, what would you guys do if Taika was his little boy urinating on the outlet? I'm just gonna slap him like you fucking like some shit he would do no, being Bart's son. If he's 12, no, I'm gonna slap the dumb. shit out of him and teach him a, a list of other things that he should be yeah, doing. He's dumb. burning down the school. But if you know what? I, two or three, I'm like, oh, okay. Shit, Isaac's closer to this. <laughs> yeah, what would you do then? I love it. 
He wouldn't do this shit. It's but stupid. if he would, it's smarter than that. Sure That's so dumb. I just don't think the kid was thinking like I want to set the school on fire. I think he was probably just peeing, saw the outlet, and was like, "Fuck it." Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that'd be even more dumb on the school. Like, why would they have an outlet near exactly. the toilet? I'm thinking right that it's the, the school's fault, but I actually want um, kids to push the boundaries while I pretend that I'm mad. <laughs> because I was reading this book about um, you want you want your kids to see and see what like what can happen in the world and push the boundaries because when they get older then they're they're more willing to take risks with their lives in a good way mm -hmm. but if they're full of rules and they're good at obeying and then they're rewarded for like obeying obeying yeah. obeying then like they're gonna be kind of scared but yeah that's interesting yeah it's like that um that it, it's called like let the boys skate or some shit like that. Hmm. Yeah. So it's like boys are just going around skating or something. Is it mainly boys? Well, cuz you know, like there's a tendency for boys to do rebellious shit because they're more um riskier. Yeah. And what what it is is like just it 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 helps them kind of challenge themselves and see what they're capable of and what will happen if they get in trouble or whatever and it's kind of like going back to like when boys needed to go and kill and protect and hunt and whatever but that also that adventurous side that you cultivate will also make them really um like leadership types oh. i was watching this interview of like this navy seal where like they're like how did you know you wanted to be a navy seal and he was just saying like Ever since he was a kid, he just knew he hated rules. And then he found out about an elite profession where all, all you're doing is breaking rules and pulling loopholes of the world and pulling fast ones and doing whatever the fuck you want to do. And he goes, fuck, that's what I want to do. You're telling me I'm not supposed to be in this country, but I get to go there on a helicopter and infiltrate that fucking country and kill the president of that country? But you have to obey within that structure. Yeah. But it's elite, like mm. it's elite privilege that you have right. to earn. You have uh, to earn this special be, right, yeah. yeah. It's like it that one- Cultivated in the right way because they still the need structure, right so you yeah, can't yeah. make a, you can't be too permissible or else mm. they're gonna fuck up and go to jail, you know? Hmm.